What's up, guys? Welcome back to 65 Fishing. I'm Ed. I want to talk to you guys today about a battery. About this battery I got that powers my 10 inch Garmin and my 9 inch Garmin and my black box. This is a uh, 50 amp battery, and I couldn't be more happy with it. And that's why I'm sharing this with you because I am happy and pleased with this battery. And I just want you guys to know that I've learned a thing or two since I've been uh, having battery issues with my Garmin's is that the closer you have that battery to your unit, the more voltage you're going to keep. Um, I'm able to keep this graph at 13, around 13, 13.2. 13 uh, I'm able to keep the nine inch on the bows a little bit further from the battery. I'm able to keep that at 13.1, 13. I've seen it drop down to 12.9 and that's the lowest I've seen it get. Without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the battery here. I'm gonna show you how I got it hooked up in here. And um, I, I'm running it out of the box, my rod box. Uh, it just works better that way. I don't run it all the way from the back because then that way you gotta have more uh, wires. Um, and then you're running that wire all the way to your bow from your back of your boat to your bow. And that just drops the voltage. So I'm gonna show you this battery and it's really good. One thing I also learned before I show you the battery is that you also got to make sure that you're not just buying any lithium battery. You got to buy a lithium phosphite battery. Okay, just any lithium battery is not gonna do. Make sure it's false light so that you have the right battery, so that you have the right power. I'm able to go on both of these units plus the back box, black box hooked up. I'm able to get anywhere from 10 to 12 hours out of this battery. Just works perfect. It never drops below 13, like I said. On the bow, it drops down to like 12.9, then it kicks right back up to 13. So let me show you the battery now. So this is the battery I'm running, guys. It's an eco-worthy battery, and it's 12.8, 50 amp battery. And let me tell you, I, I couldn't be more happy with this battery. Um, this battery, it, 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 it keeps that at 13, like I said, all day long. So I have this battery inside of a battery tray here. Uh, the battery tray is a little bit big, but it serves the purpose real good. I have a strap that's holding it down right here. And this is my off and on switch for the black box. Uh, Y'all have to excuse the rock box. I haven't vacuumed it out yet, but this is my off and on switch for the black box. So when I'm charging this battery, I'm able to turn this off or when I'm not running the boat at all, I can turn this black box off that I have mounted right here. And, uh, it works really good, works really good. Like I said, I'm getting anywhere from 10 to 12 hours out of this battery. Uh, I couldn't be more pleased with it. And I just thought I'd share that with you. I thought this was uh, very important that I share this with you so that you know that the closer you keep this battery to the black box, to my 10 inch Garmin right here on the bow, like I said, guys, you know, with this battery, I'm not sponsored by them. Let me just put that out there. I'm not sponsored. I have no connection with them. I just want to give somebody who might have had problems with battery problems like I had. I want to give you that, you know, this information so that you might can take this information, use it, however you want to use it. And um, I just want to put this out there on the channel that these eco worthy batteries are worthy. And I've been running this battery now for about four months now. And I haven't had any issues with it. It charges right up. Um, when I first charged it, it took mm, about a day to charge up, a little bit longer. But once it charged up, now once I charge it up, I put the charger on it, it's done within a few hours. So um, that is pretty good. You can see it's down to 12.9. Like I said, that's the lowest I ever seen it get. I haven't seen it get lower than that. It normally stays around 13, 13, 0, 13 .1 up here on the bow. And you can see the graph is crystal clear. You can see it 
Um, I haven't had any issues with the graph being, you know, uh, not clear or anything like that. So I'm at the ham now and you can see I'm running about 13.1. And this is out the full day of fishing, guys. It's right at two o'clock right now. Good tournament time, you know, seven in the morning to right now. And I'm still at 13.1 on the graph. You can see how clear that screen is. So just wanna let you guys know, the closer you have that battery to your graphs, the better you're gonna be able to see the screen. The screen is not gonna fade out. The voltage is not gonna drop when you have that battery close to the graphs. Now, the longer you have to run that wire, they say to go bigger with the wire, but I still see some droppage in voltage, even if you run bigger wire and you have to travel that wire a long way. So I would just say, keep the battery close to the graphs, which is a center rod box, uh, starboard rod box. And uh, hey, you won't have any issues, man. So I just wanted to get this out there to you guys so you guys can uh, have this little knowledge.